Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to talk to you guys for just a few minutes about the proper execution of the incline bench, both with a barbell and with the dumbbells, and I've included demonstrations in this video for you. And how to do so to one, bring up your upper chest and complete chest development, how to get more chest power on the playing field when you need to hit somebody in a sport, whether it's football or rugby, or even to use it to increase your flat bench if you are a power lifter. Because the incline bench performed correctly will help you get stronger out of the bottom of your bench press as a raw bencher. There is direct carryover in the performance between the two. Now, you noticed up front in the video clip I started with me doing a warm-up set that my angle is really shallow. I don't run a steep 45 degree angle. I run it fairly shallow and I use a little bit of an arch. I want to explain why I do all of it that way. The lower part of the chest, the larger portion, has more fibers running in a direction than if you're pressing at an angle down or flat. But as your bar path comes up towards the face, that more of the upper chest is going to be recruited. You can look at a basic anatomy chart and see kind of why that is. Now, in order to get the upper ones to activate efficiently, you don't need a steep angle. If, if you're flat, if you have any incline at all, anything over about five degrees or 10 degrees, it will dramatically increase the fiber recruitment in the upper portion of the chest. But the higher you go with that angle, the more the interior deltoids take over. Both the upper chest and the interior deltoids are gonna be involved irrespective of the angle, but it's a matter of prioritizing there. And if you're gonna go with a really steep angle, you almost should just do an overhead press because in that case, you're making the anterior deltoids the dominant movement, and even on the overhead press, if you go low enough, the upper chest is still worked to a large extent. But in this case, if you're trying to put more focus on your chest than upon your delts, you need a relatively shallow angle, and that shallower angle will also translate into a better flat bench, although the overhead press will improve your raw bench also. Now, some of you are wondering why I've got a little bit of an arch, and the reason for that is because I need to get scapular retraction. And the best way to keep your scapula back, because you want to stretch on your pec at the very bottom, you want your shoulder blades pinched together, is to set up on top of your traps. And here, I'll demonstrate that for you. you will notice that I pull myself up on the bar and what I do when I'm pulling myself up, I'm pinching my shoulder blades together and I'm creating a cushion with my traps for me to set on and I set my traps hard into the bench and that lets you keep your scapula retracted up against those. And when I go to grab the bar, I don't flare out to grab it. I reach up and I push against the bar. I'm actually using the bar as I'm getting a better grip on it to force myself harder into the bench so that you get those traps set hard and that should be your point of contact at the bench is your trapezius when they're bunched together with your scapula retracted, not your lats. And by doing it that way, it will let you maintain a better scapular retraction and recruit more muscles in your chest that way. And that's the reason I do that. Now, the other big mistake, in addition to not getting scapular retracted running too high of an angle is people do not do the bottom of the movement correctly. Now I'm going to do an actual heavy work set for you guys with 120 kilos. All right, you noticed in that one that I let the bar sink into my chest on every rep. You'll see a lot of people when they go to incline bench, they can't touch their chest without pain or they don't touch your chest or they even bounce off their chest a little bit. That defeats the whole purpose. The incline lets you get a deeper stretch on the chest at the bottom. So you need to let that bar sink into your chest. Even if you need to get a good pause in there to do it, it needs to sink into the meat. 